Hello again. Before we say goodbye to our Bach two-part invention, here are two more arrangements for ensembles that he would never have imagined. The first is a, a, a wind quintet. This is flute, oboe, clarinet, horn and bassoon. And it's become quite popular in the last few years. Most orchestras have at least one quintet that they can, they can have for chamber music concerts. Now, how do I work with this? I go back to the version that I did at the beginning of the Baroque period, which is violin, harpsichord and cello. And the harpsichord shows me the harmony, otherwise the other two parts have the original two-part invention. The next thing I do is split the melody line between the flute, oboe and clarinet, and then I split the bass line between the bassoon, the horn and the clarinet. Again, the clarinet is very flexible. It can take both lines, obviously limited. It won't go as high as the flute, it won't go as low as the bassoon. But it's remarkable how much it can actually take over. Finally, I should remember to put in markings of dynamics, tempo and articulation. Even if the players may decide to do something different, it's very good for the first time that they read through it if they have these marks just to be able to, to, to get them started. Finally, we arrange the same piece now for a standard big band. That's four trumpets, four trombones, four saxophones, piano, bass, percussion, guitar. Our method is exactly the same as it was in the other instrumentations that we did. And so I can just give you now the finished result. But if you would like to see each step, Please do write to me. I have material for all of this which I can easily send on to you. So now we've finished with our two-part invention and we've finished with the subject of orchestrating and arranging. We shall be moving on now to look at more recent styles after the Romantic and trying to find out where to get information to get started with the very complex business of music in the 20th and 21st century. But that's all for now.